Understanding the phrase, clean the anchor, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore an interesting English phrase, clean the anchor. This might sound a bit unusual at first, but don't worry, we'll break it down together. Understanding phrases like this is a great way to enhance your English language skills. Let's dive in. First, let's look at the literal meaning of this phrase. An anchor is a heavy object attached to a chain or rope and used to moor a vessel to the sea bottom. To clean the anchor would literally mean to remove dirt or debris from this object. This action is common in nautical contexts where maintaining equipment is crucial. Now, let's explore the figurative use of clean the anchor. In everyday English, phrases often have meanings beyond their literal interpretation. However, clean the anchor is not a common idiomatic expression in English. It might be used metaphorically in specific contexts, for instance, to signify preparing to leave or getting ready for a new venture, as cleaning the anchor can be a preparatory step before setting sail. Let's see how this phrase can be used in sentences. 1. Before we embark on our next journey, we need to clean the anchor, both literally and metaphorically. 2. John is always the first to clean the anchor. He loves being ready for whatever comes next. 3. Cleaning the anchor is an important part of maintaining the ship, just like preparing ourselves is crucial for life's challenges. In these examples, the phrase is used both in its literal sense and as a metaphor for preparation and readiness. When using this phrase, be aware that it's not universally recognized as an idiom in English. Using it metaphorically might confuse listeners who interpret it literally. It's always good to ensure that the context of the conversation supports the metaphorical use of such specific phrases. I hope this video has shed some light on the phrase, clean the anchor. Remember, exploring unique phrases like this one is a fantastic way to deepen your understanding of the English language. Keep practicing, and don't be afraid to dive into the rich ocean of English idioms and expressions. Happy learning!